Hello and welcome along and welcome back to Oak Hill. We are heading up to the shop today because uh, we need to get our grass fields sorted. The grass fields that we cut last time, we need to get them sorted and fertilized again. So, we're going to need something new to do this. Uh, unfortunately, we're currently 7,000 in the black. So, what we're going to do is we're going to borrow a little bit of money. Uh, we should only need to borrow 10,000 to do this, I think. So, if we borrow another 10,000, that gives us 2,692. Um, and then we're going to lease one of these. This is a Joskin Modulo 2 1600. This is the one with a, a spreading plate on the back. Um, the standard one in game comes with uh, a dribble bar, um, but this is a modded one. Uh, I want to look at the... I think we're going to put the big tires on this and the Michelins. Uh, that is as much as can be actually uh, done on here. And... I am going to lease this, so 2,601, so lease that, yes, perfect, and then we also want one of these, which of course is a slurry hose, so this is the longer one, this is the 5 meter one, hose type standard or extension, we want it as a standard, and we are going to buy this for, oh, we're going to lease this for 13 like so and that should do it now that is going to be that should be our only costs for today because having sold all of this silage and uh up at the bga i got that we should have a load of digestate sitting there so we're gonna head up there with this and go and get that we are using the manure system on here in fact, you can see the little uh, hose from when we had before is still kicking around up here. Let's get this round here. And I want to bring up F1 so I can see exactly where I am. So this will store on here. So store that on the side. It sticks out a little bit, but that's okay. And we're going to head down to the BGA now. Get this filled up. Hopefully with some digestate. A decent amount. This should work with this tractor as well. So, uh, yeah, let's see how we go. Down past the pigs, and we take a right into here. And this gives us access to the BGA. Hopefully, I, I've been unable to tell from the menu how much digestate we have. If we look in here, uh, I normally expect to see digestate in here, and we covered this last time. There just does not seem to be any indication down here at all. Just sort of slowly feeling through. We've got slurry, we've got uh, straw, manure, fresh grass, silage, alfalfa, clover. So there's, there's no indicator in here as far as I can see. So we're winging it a little bit, uh, but with any luck, this will still work. Uh, so I'm gonna bring this down here, spin this around, and we do have a cell point here for stuff. So we have a cell point for compost as well. Let's get this roughly the right place. Bring that off. And here. I am. I do like the manure system. Uh, the manure system is, is one of those bits that just adds a little bit more to the realism uh, for me. Now, can we... Oh, we're not quite close enough. Okay. Let's, uh, let's hook it up the other way around then. And so drop that off there. Hook it up the other way around. And that way we're not dragging hose. And reverse it up a little bit like so. And bring it in closer without running it over. And that should do it. Pick this up. Catch it on. All good. Open it up. Does this one open as well? No, I don't think that one moves. And refill. And we do have digestate going into our trailer. And we can see it loading up ah oh, we're blocking it slightly it's not easy to see there we go you can see it just filling up there so we're gonna get 15,780 liters off here uh, so let's turn that off drop out and uh, get this closed and dropped off we'll leave the uh actually we'll have to detach it because i don't want to run over it we need to remember exactly uh where we were when we were able to hook that up so let me just have a look at that uh okay that gives me a rough idea let's head off up to our field and see if we can uh, spread this and see how far this goes uh i'm hoping that we're gonna have more than enough 
to get this done with this today. We might end up having to do it again in the next couple of days to make sure that our grass is tip top by the time we're halfway through the season. Wow, you can feel the weight of this on these hills. You can really feel the weight of this trailer while driving as well. The, the tractor has a huge amount of weight on the back. It's just trying to pull it down all the time. Even with a, we've got a considerable weight on the front of this. I think this is a, I think this is 1100. Uh, so it's not a small amount of weight we've got on the back. So let's see how this does on the field. Uh, yeah, look at that. Spreading it nicely, taking us actually up fairly quickly to the level we want to be take us up to yeah most of the way there oh wow this is the bit that's going to be slower look at that up this hill but it is up it is applying it nicely it's doing a fair amount across most of it but we should be able to get all of our fields redone and uh, and ready to give us another nice big bounty of grass by the mid-autumn and uh, and hopefully uh, another nice load of income from silage so one round of this field has taken us down to about 12 well 10 percent of our slurry remaining from this load slightly concerning because we don't know how much uh, not slurry of course digestate uh, i don't know how much we actually have an RBGA. So it's going to be a case of, I, th I think we're going to take a couple of runs to get this, uh, at least a couple of runs to get this field done. In fact, yeah, there we are, run out uh, at that point. Can we get all three of these fields done with this? We know we're going to end up with more digestate next time, which is fine uh, and good, uh, but I'm, uh, I'm a little bit concerned as to exactly how much we have of the 147,000 liters from our first cell of silage. This is only our second load of uh, digestate that we've brought back to the field. And uh, um, actually, we've covered the field with it, which is very good news. Uh, this is our largest field, 116, uh, and means that we are gonna be able uh, to get all of this done today, I hope. Um, we've got uh, yeah less than less than uh, thirty thousand liters of digestate has done one field. Uh, we will go and empty the rest of this uh, into the next field and then load up. But all in all, this is uh, this is at the moment being very very successful. So we're up at the BGA again. We are <laughs> we have run out of digestate. So that has asked our uh, answered our question. We have uh, only another eighty percent full on here, uh, which means that we do not have enough to complete all three of our fields. We're going to have to do the rest with some fertilizer. Yeah, we got another twelve thousand. Uh, 553 liters i don't know if this is going to be enough to do the field that we're doing at the moment we're doing 116 all we can do is get this back down there see if there is enough to get around this field i am very much hoping that there is we're down to 12 percent on this field and i'm doing it all downhill now because that runs slightly faster and therefore even with precision farming i think ends up with us using slightly less on a downhill run than it does on an uphill even so we are down to five four or oh, three percent i've cut it off there because it was going to do a very small patch of the field uh, which i can always come back to but i want to try and get this last slither up here done with this and this is the thing we got 572 liters a small bit of the field to do can it can it last if we get this right we'll shove it in the middle bring it down turn it on and it is going down one percent there we go we have covered enough of this field 
that is that is every last drop of this digest eight has gone on this field a field that 116 117 though are done they do have coverage which i think actually is only the first covering of digest eight uh, amazingly so let's have a look under the precision farming screen that gives us yeah it only gives us 140 kilograms per hectare we are gonna need to give them another go with fertilizer so i'm gonna park this out the way uh we'll park this down the side of our shed over here uh because we don't have a massive need for it and it leaves me slightly worried because uh yes we have got twice the silage off here uh this time uh, so we're gonna we should get twice the digestate that will do us at least one time of this job of of getting this done but if we've got to do it twice every time we are going to have a cost associated with that as well so we're trying to keep these costs down as much as possible on the grass the grass is very much cash cow for us and uh, and having to spread solid fertilizer on it is uh, is not great for us so let's that up and this has this does have 600 liters of fertilizer in it but that is not going to be enough so we're going to head up to the shop we are going to get well actually is that all herbicide that is all herbicide isn't it i think we'll go and put some solid fertilizer in here and then head back down here and uh, and do we'll get we'll get one thing of solid fertilizer and then head back down here and get our remaining field done so that all three are done today up at the shop and we're just going to pull up here and get ourselves some fertilizer we've got uh 2400 liters yeah so i want to grab a couple of these we need uh more money than we have so over here we will borrow another 5000 that will allow us to buy two pallets at 2500 liter, uh, pounds each we get 2400 liters uh, that should do us well we know we're going to need to use more of this later so even if this is uh, is more than we need it will do us fine let's get that and let's back this up there's a great demand at straw manure but that's not where we're going to be and we've got the bulk fill so let's get this all filled up and there we go that gives us 38 percent full uh we'll take this now and we've got our last grass field to get done i think i'm gonna have to have a look into doing uh the maize the corn as a uh as silage as well because we are in a position where uh, doing that would give us more digestate, would save us more money, and could potentially make us more money. So I think a comparison between uh, what the corn sells for and what the silage sells for uh, is uh, is in order to make sure that we are absolutely maximising the money we can make off here. Field 71 on our left. Let's pull in. And there we go a big wide spread on this and this is going straight to the full uh full fertilization uh it's gonna be quite a bit but it is doing a massive spread as well and one round of the field and we're actually done it's such a big reach on this but you can see this has gone right up to the full amount um, and it's used very, very little. That means uh, next time what I can do is get this, uh, get our other two fields done. Uh, there should be plenty of fertilizer in what we've purchased here in order to do that. So we can get those two fields done and started. As a result, I'm going to park this with this fertilizer spreader on the back in the shed all in all that has uh, has been a fairly success successful day we've managed to get two fields done for free with the uh, the digest eight and saved ourselves 
a little bit of money. We are going to have to still put some more fertilizer on there. I would have hoped it would have been more digestate, but uh, obviously it can't be. Uh, I do need to fill this tractor with some fuel next time. We're okay at the moment, but uh, it could give us a problem later if, uh, if we're not careful. Uh, for now, though, that is where I'm going to leave for this, uh, which means that all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for all the latest videos from virtual farmer please subscribe to the channel ring that bell and i will see you next time goodbye